Good evening. One of these days where we are tracking in 2020 two different tropical storms which might both become hurricanes in the next couple of days and they are coming straight for southeast Louisiana. I know you may have seen that online or watched earlier newscasts and it's just like no, 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 we don't need this. But Marco is heading to the north and that might be arriving in southeast Louisiana maybe by Monday, potentially afternoon. And then Laura way out here is not going to strengthen much in the next day or two, as I said, but it will probably be going somewhere very close to where Marco ends up. That would be Wednesday, potentially Wednesday afternoon. Marco on Monday, Laura on Wednesday. And you can see the two different uh, forecast cones here. Laura's is in red, Marco's in yellow. And as we zoom in at the actual landfall areas, this is a little bit hard to kind of grasp just looking at this. But if Marco's in yellow, you can see that it might at Monday morning have 80 mile per hour winds. That's the current path or intensity forecast from the National Hurricane Center. And it might be just off our coast. Then by uh, later in the afternoon on Monday, it might have weakened already to a tropical storm again. That's if it makes it to hurricane status and it is going to fight some dry air and wind shear. As we said, Laura's position by Wednesday evening, it may have potentially perhaps 90 mile per hour winds. That would be a high end category one storm and it may make its landfall somewhere in the same almost location potentially as Marco. Now there is a lot of uncertainty still in the model spreads. Our computer plots are really stretching as far as Texas to Alabama, but this really seems to be the area where it looks like the center of these systems might be drawn, but it could still easily change a bit to the east or west and likely will at least a little. This is tropical storm Marco small really impacted right now by wind shear, 65 mile per hour winds. And as I showed you, the oranges and reds are dry air farther up and these upper winds are moving from the southwest to the northeast. And it's really kind of just made Marco pretty lopsided and unable to strengthen, although it is moving into the warm Gulf. We went over its path pretty um, thoroughly uh, earlier in the newscast, so you can see where it might be making landfall and then weakening as it gets drawn off eventually over to the northwest. Now for tropical storm Laura. Again, it is a little farther out. We're not talking about Laura's impact on us really until about Wednesday or at least uh, late Tuesday night into Wednesday. It is over some very high mountainous terrain over Hispaniola, and then after that, it's going to move Move, it looks like possibly right over Cuba, so it will not be strengthening much. It will be bringing some heavy rains and so forth, but it might be Monday evening that it emerges in the southeastern Gulf and then gets drawn to the north too. So this could be its potential position by Wednesday afternoon and evening, very close to our coast, maybe shifted just slightly to the west with this latest update at 10 p.m. on Saturday, and then it will continue off to the north and again could be a little bit stronger, a little weaker or a little bit to the left or right, the west or the east. Just to give you an idea, this is the European model, so you can kind of see how this might play out. This is not set in stone, but by Monday afternoon, this might be what happens. It may be able to intensify over these warm waters, but more westerly wind shear in the northern Gulf may make it actually weaken, perhaps right uh, south of our coastline. We'll see if that plays out, but the euro is kind of showing that. And then here comes Laura, so maybe not two. It doesn't look like two hurricanes in the Gulf because after moving over Cuba, Laura will probably not be a hurricane. It will probably be a tropical storm, so that's looking less likely. However, just as Marco makes landfall, Laura may be getting into the southeastern Gulf and then by Wednesday, maybe midday afternoon, something like that, it may be taking almost a very similar track. So we have two different storms to watch for, of course. The hurricane watch you see here and tropical storm watches are for Marco and then, of course, will be extended. We're also looking for rain of maybe three to eight or so inches. A couple of models I looked at today were showing roughly three to maybe nine inches with the highest along the coast. That was the Euro. The GFS had maybe three to five. So hopefully the rain will be something we can handle if it comes spread out Monday through Wednesday. Of course, there will be high wind gusts. This could easily bring down a couple of trees or power lines. Storm surge could be two to five feet Monday through Thursday. That's something we'll have to watch because when Marco pushes the storm surge up, it will only have a period on Tuesday where the winds are coming from the east and not as strong before it 
is impacted again, of course, by Laura coming on its heels on Wednesday. So we will see that forecast you want to keep an eye on because it could change a bit. If it heads a little farther to the west, these storms might spawn a few tornadoes as they make landfall on the eastern side. So we'll watch for that, but that looks a little bit less likely. If you're curious about the Mississippi River, it's really low, less than five feet with its most um, recent a level gauge at the Carrollton gauge and it's forecast to spike to nine feet. But thank goodness we're not dealing with what we were dealing with that high river last year where it was spiking to and above flood stage. It'll stay well below flood stage and that's true for the North Shore rivers too. They will likely rise, but at this point the National Weather Service has not given any flooding forecast for those rivers, even anticipating a good bit of rain. Storm surge could be three to five feet along the coast from Grand Isle off to the west, maybe more like two to four and about three feet perhaps for the lakes. A flash flood watch will be in effect late tomorrow night through early Tuesday for three to six or so inches. And here's the forecast kind of model with a setup here an upper low and then these two highs. This will direct these right into the South Louisiana area and then allow these storms to get drawn off to the north as that upper trough pulls away from us. But that little extension, the upper low that you saw over Texas kind of helps to guide those storms over us. Tomorrow, though, kind of a transition day, a few showers, not too bad. You can definitely get your preps done on Sunday before our conditions